Last night, millions of families will have been desperately trying to figure out how they will possibly afford the £700 energy price hike that will hit them this Friday. Mr Speaker, at the very same time, Tory MPs were gathering across the street for a champagne bash in the Park Plaza. We all know we all know that the Tories parted during lockdown <coughs> and now they're p- Mr Fabricant, Easter is upon us. I don't need you to ruin your Easter. So let's hear ah, ah, all of you. SNP leader Ian Blackford. Ah. We can shout and scream when we're raising the Tory cost of living crisis, Mr yeah, Speaker. Yeah. Because we all know that the Tories parted during lockdown and now they're parting through the cost of living emergency. Yeah. Last week, the Chancellor got it badly, badly wrong with the spring statement. And ever since, the Prime Minister has been busy briefing against him, saying that more needs to be done. For once, I agree with the Prime Minister. So, if the Prime Minister really believes that more needs to be done, can he tell us exactly what he will order his Chancellor to do to help the millions of families who are facing a £700 price hike this Friday? Yeah. Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I, th- I thank him uh, very much. and uh, uh, he is, uh, he's, I think he's in, in error in what he says about events last night, but he is, like me, a living testament to the benefits of uh, moderation uh, in, in all things, uh, <laughs> Mr Speaker. Uh, and uh, I, can ass- I can assure him... I can assure him that we are, we are get, that this week, for instance, uh, to get to his point, uh, what's happening actually is that the living wage is going up again uh, by record amounts. And thanks to what the Chancellor has done, uh, we are putting £9.1 billion uh, into helping people up and down the country. Uh, and what I might respectfully suggest is actually, uh, I think the, the Scottish Nationalist Government, the, with whom, as I say, we work increasingly well, I think the thing they could focus on uh, for the long term prosperity of Scotland is the educational system. System where I'm sad to see, where I, I'm sad to see, I'm sad to see Scotland's once glorious record uh, falling behind. 